Hey friends, I have three verses from Proverbs chapter 17 that uh, are worth pondering, worth uh, meditating on and, and thinking about today. So Proverbs chapter 17, verses 3, 6, and 10. Verse 3 says this, The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. So the crucible was a container used to melt metal, things like silver. And the furnace <clears throat> melts gold if heated hot enough. And in each case, it drives out the impurities. The dross rise to the top so they can skim it off and, and purify the silver and the gold. And it says, uh, the crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. I wonder if the Lord sometimes turns up the heat in our lives and puts us in the crucible or in the furnace to drive out the impurities and the dross. that We might come forth, as one writer said, I think in the Psalms, is gold, right? He wants to purify our hearts, that he tests our hearts. Uh, interesting thought, isn't it? That, that uh, the heat, the furnace, the hard times could be what God uses to purify our hearts. Verse 6 is, is kind of an interesting, kind of fun, heartwarming one. It says, verse 6, uh, Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. But interesting, in family relationships, no matter how difficult we... we th there's something in us that longs to connect, that longs to be proud and rejoice in our children, in our children's children, in our, in our parents, Right? And uh, we, we seek relentlessly to do that and, and to find something good in our kids and grandkids and our parents. And uh, what a blessing when those family members walk with the Lord and we really can be, be proud of them in, in ways that go beyond just a filial uh, relationship, right? Uh, verse 10, a rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes a fool. Those of you who are part of our church family know that's one of my favorite verses. But a rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes a fool. Why? Because a wise man grows wiser still with a well-timed, well-spoken, needed rebuke. And we all need that at times, right? Correction, where we wander off the track, as it were. But a rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes a fool. So uh, it's not all bad when we're rebuked. It's not all bad when we go through hard, difficult, hot, trying, testing. It can remove the impurities and, and uh, refine our character. So be encouraged.